everyone welcome back to my youtube channel this video is in continuation to my previous video where i have talked about how to debug or how to analyze the missing data so here i wanted to show you an example so as you can see on my screen what i've done is i've tried to find out the top five customers for each category so that assume that was the requirement i've created it and i've published it to dashboard now once you publish the end user will start validating and then Assume he came back, Rahul, you know, uh, for all customers, this is what I'm getting. But when I'm selecting furniture, it is showing only four records. And when I'm selecting office supplies, it is selecting five. And for technology, it is five. Uh, can you please uh, cross check and confirm if whatever the values that are showing here are correct or not? That is the one check. So what do you do? First step, like I said earlier, we need to connect it to our data source. So you will go back to the data source, connect to that and fire the query to get the results. So here what I've done, I'm connecting to that sample superstore because that is our source. Okay. So simply raw data I'm taking, okay, selecting the entire data, creating a pivot on top of that. Okay. New worksheet. So I'm taking our customer name here and I'm taking sales here because those two fields that we need. Now, what I'm doing is I'm selecting these two and I'm creating a new sheet and I'll paste it here. And I want to sort them simply so that we can analyze how the data is. So I want to sort with respect to grand total and that's Z2A, fine. Now, let us validate. These are the records that we got. So technically, because we have descending order, one, two, three, four, five. These are the five records that I'm expecting. Let us match it. Sin Miller, Tamarachand, Raymond. So here, Sin Miller, Tamarachand, Raymond, Tom and Adrian. Tom and Adrian. Okay, perfect. So this is matching. Now we'll we'll you know take the screenshot of this. Like assume I'll go here and uh, maybe I'll take like say word I need and. Uh, maybe okay so i'll go back menu new so any document you can take so here i'll take blank for document and uh, top five customers i'll write it and here i'll take this screenshot and i'll paste it here that is what Tableau is showing. So I'll write it here as in source what it is showing that we need to tell, right? So in as per source, so we can write as per source. I'll go back here. Maybe I'll take the screenshot of this because that is what our source is telling us top five customers. So I'll take this and I'll paste it here in the this one okay one check is done now when we select all it is five perfect now when i select furniture category it is adrian sin miller tom and ashbrook so let us cross validate that what i'm doing is i'm going back to this and now i want to apply a filter here basically so i'll go back and maybe where is that rp word here it is so yeah maybe okay so i don't want to confuse so i'll go here i'll create another pivot because i don't want to confuse you guys okay and i'm going to take customer name and i'm going to take sales now because we are doing it for furniture i want to cross validate so i'm taking category here to filter shelf and we want to check for furniture category so i'm selecting that click ok now if we are filtered only for furniture category let us select this now so i'm selecting this shift arrow control down arrow copy the entire thing create a new sheet i'm pasting it here and same like we did earlier i want to sort it custom sort on grand total z to a okay now this is the value that we are getting from our source one two three four five so now observe here let us validate so it is set uh, set women 
Joe, Peter, Tarling, and Greg. But here, if you come back, if I select furniture, we are getting something else. So values are not even matching here, which means there is something that we are doing wrong that we need to find out. So we, we need to come back. Where are these values here? So to debug what I'll do, I'll take, uh, let's say, category and I'll drop it next to this. Okay, so these are all for furniture category we are getting. When we are selecting all, okay, and uh, So similar is in this three. Tamara Chand is also in this two, in this three and all. So our analysis is something wrong going on. So we actually need to add a category to our context here. That is the mistake. Now I'll remove this. Now you see. Now Seth Vernon is 8332. That is what we have here. Seth Vernon, Joe. Joe, Elijah, Peter, Carolyn, and Greg. Now it is perfectly matching. The same way you can do it for office supplies and technology to validate everything is working as expected as the data source. Okay, so that is how we can debug data and confirm the user that whatever is working fine or not. Okay, so do not worry, you know, if you're writing some incorrect values are coding it incorrect that's okay perfectly okay we all make mistakes we we learn from that so go back make changes and you know again publish it back to the dashboard you don't need to hide if there is a miss there is a miss it is what it is okay i, I hope you learn you learned something from this video if you like it please like share and subscribe thank you have a good day bye, -bye.